So, I again get sore and weak throughout the day, right? Like I said, within a few hours of getting up, right? I got to lay back down again, right? That wasn't normal for me before the injury in the back and ankle, right? And you know, they're major weight bearing joints, both of them. <laughs> I mean, right? Now, none of that bothered me before the fall, not even at the wreck. <laughs> you understand, right? You know. At the wreck, I went on like nothing happened out in the hospital two days. Uh huh. Damn. <laughs> That's a miracle, fool. <laughs> the second one. The like I was injured worse <laughs> than the first one. Huh. <laughs> but both could have and should have paralyzed me. Right. Right. <laughs> You're talking about head and neck injuries that normally take how long to heal? Six weeks or longer? Right. Two days. <laughs> okay. Not Jesus. Not God. Or definitely. Right. Now, mm -hmm. who did it? Maybe Vivian calls it with me and her daughter had sex. She freaked out. Maybe, right? Probably, probably. <laughs> not little Roddy, right? <laughs> Though he probably didn't know what happened or not, right? You know what I mean? <laughs> but Vivian definitely being the mother in a slight age difference, say two to three years, right? Say she was 14, right? But the thing is, I'm not 17 or 18 or 19, like with <laughs> Tracy or, mm -hmm. but even then, I slept where I'm supposed to sleep, right? <laughs> now, if Tracy snuck in, <laughs> her mom could have too and blackmailed me. <laughs> I don't know, right? Right. <laughs> 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 Now, her mom's let me spend the night at the trailer. <laughs> yeah, man. <coughs> right now, I go. <laughs> and of course, I'm trying to film Tracy, but not really doing that in serious. You know, make out a little right. Of course, of course. But don't expect anything and don't remember anything. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> now, here's what Tracy or her mom will both have to do, though, right? Wait until she thinks her mom's asleep, come into the living room, have sex with me on top, because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then go back to sleep with her mom, right? And if she asked where she was, she said, oh, I just went to the bathroom. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? <laughs> but I don't remember that, no. <laughs> uh, unless I had a real wet dream with her. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. <laughs> Why would her mom let me stay there, too? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And who would really have the power? The mom, the mom. Right? Uh huh. <laughs> right. Did they both? <laughs> Did they both? And I don't remember. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Seduce me, Harry. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Both are single. <laughs> and both didn't have a man in their life. <laughs> but the moms let me stay over at the train there. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Okay, okay. But you don't remember having sex. You just loved them. <laughs> right. <laughs> But one definitely is older than him, too, but... <laughs> right. <laughs> now, he can't judge neither Tracy nor the mother. 
If they did, but again, he don't remember nothing with Tracy and his mother. <laughs> but it could also mean one of them got upset and wiped him out. <laughs> now the mother, after Tracy has sex with him, is blackmailing Jane. Though. Okay. It's not Jane's choice to be with her, but Tracy, but her mother, you know, <laughs> taking advantage of Jane, they do, right? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Just like a 15 year old telling you you're, she's 37 and can pass for Michelle Kwan, right? Who's around 30 something by now, right? She was doing the Olympics in her, well, around 1718 and that was around 2000, right? Right. So she's in her 30s by now, almost 40 probably, right? In a few years or, or one more year or something, right? But again, right, I don't, I heard she came to Savannah once and I never went around her. I just stayed home, right? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, I don't want to disturb her because I'm mentally ill, right? Exactly. Yeah. Heard her. And she might have heard about it. I didn't know. <laughs> See, if I got a soccer, the soccer could have told her. <sighs> but you're not supposed to do that either. <laughs> but if I'm behaving myself, right, right, <laughs> and not stalking her, and you're stalking her for me, who's the real stalker? <laughs> not Shane, not Shane, right. It's the one who thinks he would like her based on his dream that he then hugs it at, right? And like with the girl at the salon, making her think he wanted her too, and she didn't have a choice but to have sex with you, right? Shane ain't making you think you don't have a choice. He's telling me you do. You can say no. <laughs> but if I do make love to you, I would still lick you and drink. <laughs> Mother Michelle Kwan or any woman, right? Right. <laughs> I wouldn't just rape you. You could say no at any time. <laughs> but it's hypothetical to me, right? <laughs> so, what's happening that way? Why am I not remembering? See, if she changed it to three or nine, right? Why would I get her to change it, right? To see if I remember her coming by at all, right? See, that's the way to test it, right? If I'm on 35, I don't go to 3 or 9, right? <laughs> There's no reason to, and like with the other channel, right? Though it's kind of messing up a little bit, right? But, um... It won't show you I even went to three or nine either, right? <laughs> I don't normally watch football or whatever's on now, which can be British shows, right? All the time, right? I'm not saying I don't never watch it or ain't interested in it or don't catch some of it once in a while, right? I was just watching something else, right? <laughs> now, mm-hmm. There should also be SVU on 105, which is USA, right? Went there, right? right. Things like that, but <laughs> I didn't even think of going to three or nine, right? Nothing personal about the program either. Sometimes I'll catch something like Celtic women or right? <laughs> something like that, right? <laughs> but <laughs> Again, right? I don't normally on Sundays go to three or nine, right? So that's why I'm pointing it out, right? Uh, excuse me, not respectful this morning. Who sucks, But like I told you, when you're there for us, you're going to call her alone. <laughs> You're making an entertainment for yourself. <laughs> I know. 
and see I can handle being alone or with someone cause like I said some people could be in a crowd right. of people and still feel lonely right but I'm at home alone, but I know there are more on my side than really understand what's going on right now. Right. Like with Elijah or Elisha. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Now, if God was to show me things that he showed Elisha or Elijah, right, <laughs> I couldn't tell it to you. Like with what Paul's saying about going to heaven or not. Right. If I'm telling you heavenly things, you may not understand it in your carnal mind, your satanic controlled mind, right? Even, right? But with a dream and reading the Torah and the prophets and the minor prophets and the Psalms and the wisdom books and the sex books, Song of Solomon, <laughs> oh, that's very sexual. But <laughs> you're playing up, <laughs> right? There you believe them to it. <laughs> it too uses the metaphor of your my love is an apple tree, right? And his fruit was in my mouth, right? Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> if it's talking about a meal, his fruit <laughs> was in her mouth, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> And it does say that. <laughs> but you're ignoring it. <laughs> you're playing, you're not that. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. And we know that ain't talking about masturbation. <laughs> His fruit was in her palate and up, uh, yeah. <laughs> Deep toting <laughs> it. Oh, <laughs> that's pornographic. Great. <laughs> Yes, it is. <laughs> and it's in your Bible, too. Right. But guess what? <laughs> You're ignoring it. You're sealing it. <laughs> You're pretending, oh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's you, too. <laughs> you see it on the porno. Right. But you can't do that, Christians. <laughs> You're not saying by grace through faith, not the first thing to Mr. Buster. You can't do that. That's bad. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh. When the Bible says uh, you can, right? Actually, actually, that's what it's talking about. <laughs> She's giving him a blow job, all right? <laughs> In modern day English. <laughs> to educate you. <laughs> and what she's describing <laughs> as this fruit being in her mouth, right? I don't know if they have bananas in. <laughs> Ancient Israel, huh? They probably didn't. <laughs> but they did have apple trees. <laughs> they did have apple trees. Uh huh, and fig trees, right? <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> so that's a metaphor, again, using apple tree and fruit as the sex object, uh, or the sex use of the male, right? Which is the penis, right? <laughs> and when Satan is talking to Eve, it has a, a Y behind the yada. <laughs> but when Adam gets involved, it has an ooh. <laughs> what do you think that means? <laughs> it, it's going on with Adam. <laughs> and the only other place it's used is the rape of the Levite's concubine. Was Adam raped, right? And the Gnostic talks of the rape of Eve, too, right? <laughs> or the beguiling seduction, right? Now, even being gentle with Eve to get to Adam, <laughs> right, is to deceive her, right, to get to him and hurt him, right? So, don't the devil do things like that? <laughs> All the time, all the time. <laughs> Ain't he known for doing things like that? Right. But then you deny it <laughs> because I'm the one telling you now, right? I'm the only one telling you now. <laughs> but I'm the only one about my desire for you. 
Mach das so. <lacht> gut, gut. Ah. Ehrlich gleich, ehrlich gleich. Was ist auch I'm going to say in the house or get up or try to do laundry today, right? <laughs> It's off the floor a little bit better. I <laughs> know. <laughs> I told you what I would do with you, because you. <laughs> I know you someone consented, right? I know someone blacked me out, right? <laughs> But not who, if it was two different people or the same person, right? That's the problem, right? <laughs> see, see. And then you're doing what, right? <laughs> what is that called? <laughs> Sitting and repenting, right? Lying and repenting, lying and repenting. Yeah. See, then it's the female lying, because she can get eaten, right? I make love to her, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe I'm asking her to stay or whatever. Won't you stay with me? Oh, buddy. Oh, man. <laughs> But you can leave down, but if you do, and I am being blacked out by a visit, I won't remember getting right. <laughs> see, see. <laughs> and I'm blacked out again, right? So I don't remember <laughs> again <laughs> who it was, who it was. <laughs> so, like I said, were four women or more with me last night. <laughs> Two of them I might have more rejected than they were with me anyway. And, uh, right. Two of them I right, I might have been loved consensually, right? Now, all you have to do though is back me out once, right? Now, the difference is the second one might have to put her crotch in my face to get me to lick her. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> The first one, I would put my face in her crotch if she's someone I was really interested in, right? It depends, right? Right. Now, for sex, right? Okay. Even if I give in, right? It's still forcing me, right? I'm trying to say no to you, right? <laughs> the second girl, probably, right? Now, if after the second girl, I'm blacked out, and the third girl comes along, I don't even know I was with the two. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Either, and then someone put it on mine, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe, right? And then, again, I don't remember that person, so again, someone else could have seduced me. <laughs> again, blacked me out. That's the one I was actually blacked out with, right? And she put it in my face. <laughs> Because I'm trying to refuse her, right? If I remember the first girl, I'm not going to try to cheat on her with another girl, right? But if I don't remember the first girl, I might be with another girl. It depends on when I'm blacked out, right? I don't try to cheat on my girlfriends either, right? I, I wouldn't have sex with Tracy and her mom knowing me, right? Right. Just Tracy... And not her mom at all, you know. <laughs> to be honest, right? The mom wasn't tipped to me. Tracy was. <laughs> uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> But Tracy had a dude take advantage of her already. See, once she's not a virgin, statutory rape is harder to prove the second guy she's with. So, uh, right, that's older than her, too, right? Let's see, let's see. It's the first guy that gets saddled with the statutory rate, but if he's over eating, right? Me, on the other hand, I'm being respectful to both Tracy and her mom, but I'm still kind of trying to do something more with Tracy than the mom at all, right? But both could have made a move on me, right? <laughs> Tracy first and then the mom, right? The mom's testing Tracy, though, if she does. <laughs> 
and it just got too much for her. She hit me and I was like, I'm going to back, right? And then, <laughs> but if you can't prove it once again, right? Sure. She's not a virgin anymore, right? <laughs> See, that, that's what I know, too. Well, you're not a virgin anymore, but you can only use it once. <laughs> and that's up to you. You can be on top. <laughs> and no one can say anything, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> but if mom's eavesdropping and hurrying, <laughs> mm, there's anyone trying to talk in the least bit, of course, right? But he's smart too, right? You know? <laughs> and he's gonna politely refuse the mom. You know? But as he can be with Tracy, she's not a virgin anymore, right? But Tracy has to make the first movie going you know, to the living room. Right. But he don't recall that happening, so he's just again like with the other little girls, right, making that part up, right? In his mind, right? Because Again, he would have to be blacked out by one or the other by morning, right? <laughs> but I don't have a choice if Tracy's mom also seduced me, right? <laughs> Not that she was an unattractive woman, which is what I would tell her, fine, that you're unattractive, right? <laughs> I just can't be with you and your daughter immediately. <laughs> He's like that, right? I know. <laughs> but she's not a virgin anymore, right? <laughs> See, that's the problem, too. You can't prove I had sex with her, even if she gets pregnant. I mean, happy to be right, right. Or you both do. I mean, I don't know if you get pregnant or not. But if you're both having sex with me and you both get pregnant, <laughs> then you both have to raise my child, right? Uh huh. <laughs> See what I mean there, right? <laughs> And that's what I would have to tell the mom if she realized her daughter had sex with me in the apartment or judge the apartments or with the one in Norfolk, right? Then the daughter said, they see me, you <laughs> know, and I'm trying to talk her out of it, but can't, right? See, that's not my choice, is it? No. <laughs> Even though I'm older than the girl, right? <laughs> If the girl won't take no for the answer, she's being the aggressor, right? And see, I'm trapped. I, I can neither leave nor know what to do, right? I don't know. And I say, well, okay, but you gotta put your crotch in my face and I'll lick you, right? Like I did your mom. <laughs> see, I'm confessing, probably, right? What really happened, right? But I don't remember the details, which means I was also blacked out there, too, right? But I'm not trying to really do the girl. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> I know better. I know better. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so what I'm trying to do is just the mom, right? But the girl found out I was in there and is trying to find out about sex with me. With you, right? And she don't want to wait anymore, right? Which could indicate something's going on with her and the roommate or boyfriend. That's why she kicked me out, right? Or she didn't know what to tell the mom, right? <laughs> so again, I know. <laughs> I get the pussy, right? <laughs> of two young girls I don't even remember I was with, but I'm not trying to be with them, and they're trying to do something with me without me able to do that right to stop them right so I'm trying right see the children also want sex right the thing is they too want to choose who they're with right she would not want the boyfriend right but me <laughs> this is 52 man Imagine when I looked at 24 or 25 after the fall, right, even, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> see, see. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so don't think the daughter didn't choose me either, right? <laughs> I'm just interested in the mom because I know legally she's the only one I can be with, right? So. 
And I'm not trying to be with the daughter at all. <laughs> I don't even say there really go you know, there, right? But she could have came in there to me, right? Once the mom went to sleep, right? There's about six, seven hours before morning, right? And all it takes is one of those hours for her to come in there when she's, you know, <laughs> horny, horny. And the reason she's horny isn't, you know, but the guy who really tried to have sex with her right? and tried to rape her, right? So then I'm in the catch 22, right? Right. <laughs> what do I do? I'm here, I can leave, but then that would be rude, but right, right, you know. I just had sex with the mom in the kitchen. <laughs> and I could have even had to pee or something in the middle of the night. No, right, but I should remember, right? Again. <laughs> but if the mom blacked me out, she took the law into her own hands and tried to punish me for what her boyfriend did, right? To make the girl do that. I mean, not me, you know. Was, that was not my plan to get laid by her and her daughter, right? <laughs> Just her, just her. <laughs> Not that I have a problem with the girl. I would be nice to her, sweet to her, try to talk to her about the problem, right, and tell her why it would be wrong for me or him to have sex with you, but you could have sex with anyone. And after that, I'm telling her the truth, right? I'm not lying, right? I'm not trying to seduce her, right? But I'm seducing her, I don't know, without meaning to seduce her, because I still know what to do with the girl, right? To make her feel good with sex, right? He probably didn't even care if she felt good to you either, did you, right? He's just trying to get to your, your panties down and get you undressed, and then your mom caught him and stopped him in time, probably, right? But then she popped it with me, right? I didn't have the choice. And I said, well, you do can be on top, right? right? It's not the problem, but I can't initiate the contact. You gotta kiss me, right? You gotta put your crotch in my face, right? Same thing. If she does it, what choice do I have, right? None, none. She was so afraid of the other guy coming back and raping her, though, right? Not me. <laughs> I was where I was supposed to be, right? Huh. <laughs> right, right. Uh -huh. That she's fucking me. Oh, she's fucking me. Right. And she's old enough to know better too, right? And I'm trying to gently talk her out of her, but she's more worried about him getting back into the house once I go back to Virginia because I'm only there for 30 days, right? And then I'm going home, right? Back to Virginia, right? And at that time, it was kind of where. You know, I fell the three stories, so I didn't even know if I could get her pregnant, right? But if I did, or, you know, the mom and her tempted the Lord, and they both got pregnant. Ooh, the mom supposedly had a, um, her tubes tied or something anyway, right? But that's also why the boyfriend, and you know, <laughs> was trying to get it with the mom and the mom wouldn't do it and then he went to the daughter's room but got kicked out because of it, right? But had he not done that, that wouldn't have set her up to be with me, right? The mother or the daughter, right? I'm not trying to do that with children. <laughs> I am just looking for a girlfriend, right? <laughs> a girlfriend. <laughs> Not four women, I'm not even sure I was with last night, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> now, on SNL, though, I could tell the girls, the white girls had on flats, right? They had on two pairs of outfits underneath the outfit to make their butt look flat, right? <laughs> I could see that under the garment, right? Megan and... <laughs> SNL. <laughs> you can see the under pants or whatever they were. <laughs> we're flattening the butts of the white girls. <laughs> like white girls don't have back either. <laughs> Megan Trainor is an example of that, in my opinion, of the person Megan. <laughs> <laughs> <Right. laughs> 
<laughs> he got that booty booty right <laughs> <laughs> but okay <laughs> <laughs> So I can do any voice without sex now. Come on. <laughs> that don't have nothing to do with it, right? Mm. But see, if you're happily married, I don't go there, right? <laughs> but she would have to come where? <laughs> to Georgia. To Georgia. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> see? I don't know if she did now. <laughs> she either, right? I don't even think that, right? What even happened, right? But I would never tell her she's ugly or <laughs> I wouldn't find her attractive or right? <laughs> mm -hmm. or I wouldn't lick her either, right? Whether she's a virgin or not, right? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> But I also don't know if she would black me out herself or her men. Right. There you go. There you go. Right. Well, why do you think I'm telling you what I would do with him so you could do it with him too, huh? <laughs> Dummy. Dummy. <laughs> that is why. <laughs> if you do, you're smart. If you don't, you're dumb. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm.